so we've been talking about the Roaring Twenties, which was an exciting time for musical recording in history. It was the very first time that country music, American country music, was actually recorded in a studio. Victor Records went down to Bristol, Tennessee, and set up shop and put a call out to all the local musicians to come down, the country singers, the folk singers, to come on down and record their music. So people like the Carter family came down and, and people like this next guy, Jimmy Rogers, affectionately known as the singing brakeman because he sang a lot of songs about trains. And he was able to make the sound of a train whistle without any train whistle. He did it with his teeth and his tongue and he was able to make it sound really cool, but I can't do that, so I got a train whistle. <laughs> songs, waiting for a train, sing along. All around the water tank, waiting for the train. A thousand miles away from home, sleeping in the rain. I walked up to a brakeman, gave him a line of talk. He said, if you got money, boy, I'll see that you don't walk. Well, I haven't got a nickel, not a penny can I show. He said, get off, get off, you railroad bum, and he slammed the boxcar door. Yo, lay, 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 oh, lay. Put me off in Texas. Need I dearly love the wide open spaces all around me and the moon and the stars up above where nobody seems to want me lend me a helping hand I'm on my way from Frisco going back to Dixieland My pocketbook is empty and my heart is full of pain. I'm a thousand miles away from home just waiting for a train. Yodelay, 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 yodelay